Hey tubers and squatchers, it's Drew, the California Squatcher. Welcome back to California Squatching, and the story that just won't go away. I'm sorry to bring it up again, but let's it's ripped from today's headlines, guys, from CNN. Let's go to it. Bison attacks woman who was trying to take a selfie with it in Yellowstone Park. Yellowstone Park, guys, does that sound familiar? Let me refresh your memory. Not too long ago, my Facebook friend, YouTube video making friend, Thinker Thunker, put out a video showing four very large and tall, all black individuals crossing in the distance on a misty morning in front of a Yellowstone Park live feed camera. And his point was that he thought it looked strange and that it could be a pod of Bigfoot. Well, he got attacked by many different people out there. Um, he was trying to say that why would there be humans out there next to these dangerous bison? And I know it's a small point, has nothing to do with Bigfoot, but he said that, you know, why would there be humans out next to dangerous bison? Well, he was attacked by several different people, and you know who that you are, <laughs> and uh, two people in particular who have channels, and uh, by the way, I am a loyal follower and uh, supporter of both their channels both very sarcastic guys and I like the work they're doing but hey I'm just busting their chops you know <laughs> but uh, these two individuals pointed out that bisons are docile and you know people sh would be able to walk around next to them etc and uh, so let's go to this article because apparently Thinker Thunker got it right visitors to Yellowstone Park seem to be having trouble taking in the message that it's just not a good idea to get too close to the wild bison that roam the wilderness. Now it's funny they use the word wilderness because a lot of people gave Thinker Thunker a hard time for using the word remote. But there they use the word wilderness. So maybe the wilderness is right in front of the game camera too. Uh, who knows? But the latest person to find out the hard way was a 43-year-old Mississippi woman. And she basically was taking a picture of one of these bisons when it threw her over its head, using its head, and uh, she was very lucky, you guys, to get away from this without too much injury. She could have fallen and broken her back or her neck, would have been all over. But there it says it, it didn't say anything about horns or anything or gores, but this is what the lady thought. They thought it would be okay. The woman is the fifth person injured after approaching bison in Yellowstone so far this season, and the third whose dangerous encounter resulted from photo taking. The park authorities always warn people not to get too close to the animals. So there you go. And down here, let's go to this other one. This was from an earlier example of a woman getting injured. Woman gored three weeks ago while hiking. This is while she was hiking, so it wasn't like she was taking pictures with this thing. This thing attacked her. Park authorities instruct visitors not to go within 25 yards of a bison or any of the large animals. Bison can sprint three times faster than humans can run and are unpredictable and dangerous, park officials warn. So there you go. Uh, you know, I'm just kind of busting their chops, but... I think they owe Thinker Thunker a little apology, don't you? So anyways, <laughs> just having a little fun with you guys. But uh, go check out all these guys' channels. Go look at the video again. I don't see these snow skiers or these cross-country skiers wearing uh, black outfits. Are they, what are they comparing before they, are they matching their clothing before they put it on in the morning? Is this an all-black ski club? And why are they so tall? And why is the fourth individual like a foot and a half taller than the other ones? I'm just asking. And by the way, do a response video and link this video into your response video. And let's have a good conversation. Let's see what happens. Because uh, I thought that was a pretty fishy video. And uh, I don't know any cross-country ski clubs that go out without any uh, ski poles and wearing all black and you can't see any flesh tones or no white or you know tell me you know and by the way black is not a good 
color for any of the uh, park rangers to wear. They wear bright orange or red or fluorescent colors. Black is just not a good color. So why those things were all in black, I don't know. But that's me, Drew the California Squatcher, stirring up the waters again. Thinker thunker. Turns out bisons do attack people. Cheers now. Keep on California squatching.